do you really need a high-end mixer or not? I guess that's the question for some. We're gonna go through all the different options from your most budget build to a little bit of an upgrade to the starter, like KitchenAid style to the KitchenAid Pro. We're gonna go through some pros and cons of each of them. First, starting with the Hamilton Beach, this is gonna be the most budget friendly. It's got our speeds here that comes up and down manually to eject. If we go and push there, it gives you a little boost. Power cable comes out here to the side. Comes with uh, two beaters and the little whisk type of style. The cord does go in here for storage and it kind of sets it in here in place. It's loud, it gets the job done. This is the one that I ended up getting in college. Works just fine. And it can do just about the job of everything else. Just a little bit more handwork. Then we come into the Breville one. So the Breville one is a little bit fancier than the white one over here. Plus it's in stainless steel. It's gonna have a digital display where you see the power. We've got our on off and also a pause. And this is gonna be the release for the actual beaters itself. And the actual beaters are a little bit of an upgrade as well. So the, the beaters have this rubber piece here. So if you're putting this in a pan that you don't wanna get scratched or a, a pot or something, it's not gonna scratch it, that way you can use it there. This one's just got the metal ones, so you're not gonna wanna use that at anything that's like, uh, it's got stainless, uh, not stainless, a uh, like a non-stick surface or something, you're gonna wanna use something like this. It does come with two beaters, so if you're using it for egg whites or something like that, and then we've got the two dough hooks, so this is gonna help with dough. Um, now obviously, this is gonna work and I've made bread, I've made cakes, I've made pies, I've made mashed potatoes, I mean, you name it with these, and they can do the job of these. But as we step into here, this does make our lives a little bit easier, a little less hands-on. So as we get into here, this one's gonna come up and down in order to put your stuff in. So you're gonna raise it up, put your ingredients in, put your attachment on, and it's gonna mix. And it's really nice to be able to have like the dough, where you can mix it on low, Go do a couple things that you need to do, come back and, you know, uh, continue working on whatever it is you're working on. These other ones, you're gonna have to manually use them. So your hands are busy with them. You can't mix and just walk away. And then we get into the Pro. The Pro is kind of locked into place here. As it comes up, oh, try to lock it into place here. Um, it, instead of the head coming back and forth, We've actually got the handle on the side, which brings it up and down. Now, this does have a splash guard on it. The splash guard is nice because it does sometimes get a little bit, depending on how fast these attachments are. I think the other uh, benefit to these is there's lots of options for aftermarket parts. Like I have a pasta maker. I have, um, I think it was a meat grinder and some other accessories that go onto these. So like for this one here, you're gonna stick it in there and this is gonna be the motor and the drive for these other accessories that come out. This lid stays on here, this lid does not. You'd actually have to screw this off and this part comes out and once it comes out, then you can utilize this piece here and then just don't forget to put it back when you're done and screw it back in and that's gonna hold it in place. All of them will get the job done. It really depends on what makes most sense for you. For you.